I mean, it's really a question to get the pictures of all this, of dodging the weather. These rainstorms coming through are really quite powerful, and we've had to move around them. And this was supposed to be a relatively dry day. Tomorrow and the day after that, it's supposed to be heavy rain. The big difference between what we're seeing here now and what you might call a regular flood is that normally you just have runoff from the hills and the river water coming up. But now what's happening is that the water is coming through the ground. The reservoirs below the groundwater is full. There's nowhere for it to go. Essentially, below Oxfordshire, Surrey and Berkshire, the soil is full of water. There's a couple of four-wheel drives, one making room for the other. Perhaps a stop to chat to uh, try and make sure they know what's ahead if there are any problem areas. And this is a classic example of what we're seeing right across the south of the country now. Fields are flooded, they're acting like basins, the soil is full, and there's just nowhere for the water to drain away. And looking down there, it's uh, getting harder to tell where the river ends and the roads begin because the water's all the same color, it's dirty, so you can't tell how deep it is. Housing estates now just merging with what was the River Thames, a hundred safe yards away from their homes. What we're seeing here is as bad as it's ever been. That much has been established, but February isn't over yet. There's more to come, possibly much more to come. Yeah, it's clear as sky at the moment, so it's literally whether we can get in there before this bit of weather comes in. So the weather's closing in on us again, making visibility harder, but there's Thorpe Park just below us now, surrounded by water. And this is a very good example of why the people down there do not want any more rainfall uh, to come in the next uh, few weeks, certainly. No comfort at all to the people down there to hear all the arguing building up at a national level. The government, climate scientists, the environment agency, all pointing fingers at each other, rather perhaps than concentrating on the issue at hand. It's also no comfort to the people below us to realize that there seems to be little real agreement over what the actual cause of all this is and therefore what the solution is as well. I suppose the real issue is what happens between now and the next few weeks. The ground is now completely saturated. We are seeing the results of the rainfall so far. It can't take any more. If we get another week, perhaps that's something they can cope with. If we get another three or four weeks of rain, then this story will change again and for the worse. 